or good morning from the state of New Mexico, City of Solon Park, Fire Station 2. This is the second climb of this two day tour and the uh, last climb before heading to New York City. Be flying out first thing Friday morning. So this 110 is taking up our brother John Marshall from the Lion's Den, Manhattan's Engine 23. And uh, although his actual assignment was ladder 27 in the Bronx, where his father was a uh, police officer also. This climb is dedicated to the FDNY, often on the line, to his wife, Lori, daughter Paige, and son John. He will never be forgotten. Brother John, how are you doing today? Headed back to New York on Friday, brother. I'm gonna do the 200th climb on Saturday, and I'm also going to uh, do the Tunnels to Towers 5K on Sunday. So, as I was saying before, this 110, praying for you every day, brother. Every single day, John, I pray for you. Definitely, if you're able to, it'd be an honor. So, right now, the Lion's Den, and 23, which I found out uh, it uh, was one of the oldest of the FDMY units built in 1865, just like two months after FDMY became a paid department. God bless you too, John. So we're taking the history to the top. Right now for firefighter John Marshall from the Lion's Den, also known as the West Side Tigers. Carrying them up as we speak. This is 110. Giving them with honor and respect for the sacrifice made so that others would live. For his wife Lori, daughter Paige, and son John, they will never be forgotten. Better believe it, John. Always. Carrying them up till each one reaches the top. This one today is the 199th brother to go vertical. 200th will be on Saturday there in New York City. Just not sure where yet, but I'm figuring that out. So, as I was saying, this is for firefighter John Marshall, engine 23. Normally was assigned to ladder 27 in the Bronx, but he was rotated to Manhattan. Sounds good, brother. He was uh, rotated to engine 23 and uh, went to respond to the World Trade Center. Terrorist attack as part of the greatest rescue effort in the United States history. But he actually has a backstory that uh, his sister Doreen was able to tell on the research that I did. He was up in uh, New Jersey on a short weekend 
and he said around 5.30 he left his wife, Lori, daughter Paige, and son John, and uh, started driving back. While he was on the Garden State Parkway, he noticed a uh, vehicle was driven by an elderly couple, was in flames driving off the side of the road. John had claimed, uh, basically he carried a fire extinguisher with him in his F, uh, Ford. So before anyone really got to business, John had already gotten the fire out with the fire extinguisher and led the couple to safety. As Doreen was saying, when she was caught inching through traffic, she found John and he was saying, I've got this under control, keep going. But the fire was out and the couple was to safety. It was said that John had a coat and a hat hung up on a rack somewhere just waiting on him. And a few months later, he joined the FDNY. This 110 is given with honor and respect for his family, Lori, Paige, and John, to know that he will not be forgotten. We climbed, taking him up to the 110th floor to finish the footsteps, symbolically to the top of the tower. We're going there now. As I said before, this is the last climb here before heading to New York. We're on Saturday. I'm gonna make the 200th climb for Rescue 2. The details are still pending on that, but as soon as I know, I'll uh, put something out. So right now, as I said before, we're going up for We're going up right now for John Marshall. Out of the lion's den. Manhattan, engine 23. Pushing him up all the way to the top. It's gonna get a little bit warm today even though it's slightly cold outside. It's in the 60s. But uh, it's gonna rain again today so the humidity's all up again. So for right now, we can see perfect. In a little while, the conversation will start again and we'll be working against it. But as I said before, this is for brother John Marshall. Assigned normally to ladder 27 in the Bronx. his father was also a police officer to his rotation to West Side Tigers and Lion's Den. They go by both names there at Engine 23. And as I said before, Engine 23 is one of the oldest units in the FDMY. I found out it was actually established as a firehouse in 1865. Just a few months after the uh, establishment of FDNY as a paid department. So there's a whole lot of history that's going vertical right now for Engine 23. The Lion's Den is going up for John Marshall. Ascending to the 110th floor, all the way to the top. This is the second climb of this 48-hour tour. 
and the last one before New York City. He left behind his wife Lori, his daughter Paige, and his son John. For them we climb to let them know that he will never be forgotten and always remembered instead. This is the 343 commitment and still counting 110 floors for firefighter John Marshall out of the lion's den into 23 there in Manhattan. Taking him up to the top of the tower. Following the initial 343 will be the end still counting. 110 floor memorial climbs. Taking each and every one of the end still counting from the FDNY symbolically to the top of the towers themselves. That will happen upon completion of the initial 343 to which we're almost at 200 now. So we're taking them up with honor and respect given for the sacrifice made so that others could live. For those just joining, welcome from Salmon Park, New Mexico, Fire Station 2 in the gym. This is the 343 commitment and still counting, memorial, 110 floor climb for Firefighter John Marshall, who was rotated out to the Lion's Den into 23 there in Manhattan. It's real close to Central Park and uh, around the corner from the Cavemen. Tower Ladder 35 into 40, the home of Ray Pfeiffer. Pushing him up all the way to the top. We're gonna get to the uh, little over halfway point with this next vertical. And uh, keep it going all the way to the top. Coming up on 50 floors now. In about 13 and a half minutes on this stair climb. Almost to the halfway point. And then over halfway point in this climb. And now it's starting to get the uh, condensation going. A little bit foggy, but we're moving, going up as we speak to reach that top for Lion's Den. Firefighter John Marshall for his wife Lori, daughter Paige, and son John. We will never forget. We will always remember the legacy and the sacrifice made so that others could live. Today is the 199th climb of the initial 343 commitment. Saturday, the 200th climb will go vertical for Rescue 2, Brooklyn's Bulldogs. 
it's still to be determined when and logistics and all that, but it's going to happen. So we're almost to the 60th floor at 15 minutes and 45 seconds in on this climb for firefighter. John Marshall, right here. Taking them vertical, taking the lines down vertical. The West Side Tigers. Headed up in honor and respect. For our brother who paid the ultimate sacrifice so that others could live. The greatest rescue effort in the United States history where efforts of 25,000 were saved. We will never forget. We will always remember those left behind, their legacies left behind, and the sacrifice that was made that other would live. Coming up on the fifth of seven verticals. So here we go at 63 floors in. And it's a stair climber. Just moving steps. To reach another floor. To finish another climb. Pushing them up. For firefighter John Marshall, regularly assigned to ladder 27 in the Bronx, to his rotation to engine 23, Lion's Den, where he responded to the greatest rescue effort in United States history. So, we're going up as we speak till we reach the 110th floor. This is the second and last climb of this 48 hour tour. The following climb will be done in New York. New York City on Saturday. Pushing them up. Till we reach the top. Hundred ten floors. That's the ultimate goal. In this climb. Given an honor and respect of the sacrifices that were made during the rescue and after in the recovery effort. We will never forget both 343 and those still counting to work the pile for hours, days, weeks, and months until it was resolved to bring closure as much as could be possible. Those who are suffering from 9-11 illness and those who have passed. I will climb until I'm physically not able to to complete this commitment. But right now, 
We're about to hit the sixth of seven verticals for firefighter John Marshall. Lion's Den into 23 in Manhattan. Who he was rotated to outside of his normal uh, ladder 27 there in the Bronx. Like I said, 23s is the oldest according to uh, historical documentation. It was established in 1865, two months or so after FDNY became a paid fire department. This is carrying the history of the Lion's Den and the West Side Tigers to the 110th floor in honor and memory of our brother firefighter John Marshall, who left behind his wife Lori, his daughter Paige, and his son John. Gave the ultimate sacrifice so that others would live. As I said before, before John was even a member of the FDNY. His sister cites a uh, significant time where John had left the shore in New Jersey, headed back home. And when he got to the Garden State Parkway, noticed a, a uh, vehicle on fire going off the road, grabbed his fire extinguisher, put out the fire to the best of his ability and removed the elderly couple that was inside to safety. When Doreen was passing by into through that traffic, she saw her brother that was in command and uh, he kept telling her, keep going, I got this. A few months later, he became FDNY. It was said that uh, he had a jacket and a hat on a hook somewhere waiting. For his name before he was a firefighter. Just waiting there on him. Carrying him to the top. With ultimate respect given. Honor and respect for the sacrifice along with 342 other brothers in the rescue effort and those still counting in the recovery effort. The response to the greatest rescue effort on the back of the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil. We will never forget. We will always remember. Coming up on the 90th floor, 24 minutes in. Getting quite uh, condensated in the mask, but it is what it is. We're reaching that top. As I said earlier, welcome to the 343 commitment and still counting 110 floor Memorial Circline for into 23. Westside Tigers and Lions Den. Firefighter John Marshall is going vertical. For his wife Lori, daughter Paige, and son John. Our brother, your husband and father, will never be forgotten. It is a hot one today. Gonna get up to the 100th, 101st floor 
until we reach that final extension of this 110 floor climb for firefighter John Marshall. Going up. With honor and respect, we're reaching that top. Little by little. Another floor is being reached. Second and last of this 48 hour tour. Last before we go to New York City on Friday and make the 200th climb on Saturday. Pushing it. We're almost there. And man, it is hot. On our first floor. On our second floor now. For firefighter, John Marshall. FDMI rotated to engine 23 there in Manhattan. Lions Den or West Side Tigers. Engine 23 was established in 1865, two months after the FDMI became a paid fire department. Pushing to the top with honor and respect for this, the 199th climb. For his wife, Lori. And his daughter and son. He will not be forgotten. He will always be remembered. To the FDMY, those off and on the line, the Manhattans into 23, Lions Den to ladder 27 in the Bronx. A promise made is a promise kept. A commitment made is being kept right now. We will never forget the 343 brothers and the rescue efforts and those ants still counting from their recovery efforts. With honor and respect, they will all ascend symbolically to the 110th floor. And right now, this is for Firefighter John Marshall. Brother, 110 floors. Completed.
Rest easy, brother. We got it from here.